Hi everyone, this is Janice. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, how are you? Today I decided to do a St. Patrick's Day look with some of my favorite Charm pop up last month is by Milk. And it is really cool. It's a plastic dispenser. It has a little clicker here. And it brings the product in this ball. So I didn't push it hard enough here. There we go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I did that time. And it's like a serum type foundation. Very light coverage. I have it on already. I was quite liberal with it. I do enjoy light foundations. I'm not one for full coverage. I like to be able to build it up in case I want a little more coverage. And I'm finding this does that. And I've already done this, but I'm gonna use this up because waste not, want not, right? And it's got a very slight odor, but very, uh, how do I put this, sweet? Very, very slightly sweet. And I'm really enjoying this. And I've used this also a few times. Take my glasses off. I'm just using the brush. I, I'm just using the brush. Let's see, have I used the sponge? I think I have. It goes on my new product application I'm gonna use. Usually a brush, that's uh, my favorite, and then a sponge. I use my fingers, I find, I use my fingers when I'm in a hurry. <laughs> so I just slap on makeup. I'm sort of old school that way, that's what we always did back in the day. And I do like grabbing my um, puff here and just pressing it in just to finish it off. I'm also finding that this foundation also helps blur my pores. I don't have very large pores. I do have wrinkles, fine lines, wrinkles, some deep wrinkles. Nothing really helps those. Just keeping your face hydrated, moisturized, which I've already done that. And this is just a little makeup video. I'm almost positive I got this through Ipsy. And it is an eyeshadow primer. I don't know, I've had it for a while and I forgot I had it. I'm not sure how long I've had it, but sometimes I get these subscription boxes and I look through them and do a video on it and I kind of tuck it away to use later. But I seen this, I thought, oh, I wanted to try that. So this is what it looks like inside. It's a creamy, it's a creamy cream. <laughs> and it's a kind of a light cream color. And I've already used some, but I'm gonna use a little more just to show you. I just pat it on my eye. I don't put heavy primer on. I just use the warmth of my finger and just lightly dab it on. So that's what I'm doing. I do like the matte paint pot. So this is a nice, um, similar item. And is this the first time I, oh, this is the second time I used it. So, kind of still my first impression, but I wore it yesterday and it kept my eyeshadow on. So that's all I asked for. I did do a haul, and this is part of it. And I wanted to try the new e.l.f. mint palette here. I love green, and I only bought one of them. I mainly wanted to try it to see how the formula was. And the colors are cute. I may, I probably do have these colors in other palettes. I believe mainly in the ColourPop. But I wanted to try this formula really bad. So I'm going to use this. And Any ideas? I also bought a couple of the Davina Singles, which is an indie brand. So I'll pop it out here. I got it in the palette here. 
And here are the colors. I only bought two. They're, well, they were out of them. I, I, these were the last two I could even buy. They go quick on their website. But these are colors I wanted to try anyways. And they are duochromes, trio chromes. And they're gorgeous. This is the green. Uh, I don't know if you can see it on camera. And this is like a bluish purple pink. Let's see what it, I'm gonna use the green one. Let's see what it what the colors are. I'll put it on my finger here. I don't know if you can see that very well. Go ahead and put it on my hand. At least if I can see it. Oh yeah. It goes from blue to green to purple. So I'm hoping you can see that. Beautiful in person. I've never tried this brand. I happen to hear of it through another video. Teresa's dead. I don't know if you watch her. I watch her occasionally. She's very entertaining and informative. She does have a little bit of a potty mouth. But I don't care if that bother me. None. I'm a grown up. But if that bothers you, then she warns you about it. So you have an option to watch her or not. But I watch her. She she's worth it. She's fun. She really is. And I've learned a lot from her. She's much younger than me. I tend to watch some younger ones. Just not because I don't like watching ladies my age or two. I love it. It's just sometimes it pops on my suggested, so I they're talking about a product and when I learn about it, I go ahead and listen to it. Then if I get hooked on their personality, I'm hooked, no matter what age. It doesn't matter. I love them all. Okay, not that it, oh, that's pretty. <laughs> I can really see it here. I'm going to go ahead and use the, see there's two mattes and two shimmers. I'm going to use the lighter matte right now and just start putting on my eyeball. I have used this a couple times and they said that little palettes like this have excellent pigmentation and a nice quality. So I was really excited to get this. And I will tell you my thoughts here in a minute, what I think of this one. I'm going to use a darker one. It looks like an olive color to me. And I do love that color. Go ahead and start blending that out. Another item I purchased through my haul at I went to Ulta and got the e.l.f. the Flawless Brightening Concealer and I have used this many times already. I probably bought this a little over two weeks ago and I've used it constantly. It's just a pump up thing. Add the brush and you pump it up and it's a brightener concealer. Dab underneath here with my dark circles. I didn't think I had them, but I've had them lately. So we're going to do that. Wish I could see better. I need to put my glasses on. It looks like it's doing what it's supposed to do, brighten it and uh, conceal. My glasses on. Oh, I got some new glasses. I like them. They're not they're much lighter weight and they're nice and big. Gold with the pink little rhinestones around it. I love rhinestones in my glasses. There for a while you couldn't even find them anywhere. And these are by the designer Betsy Johnson, one of my favorite designers. It's doing what I want it to do. How is everyone? I forgot to ask. I am fully vaccinated. And I feel great. I had a really easy time this time. I. Oh, I had a couple hours where I was feeling kind of out of it, you know, sore and really tired and a little ornery, which is new. <laughs> but um, after I took a little short nap that morning, I got up early. It could be why I was ornery. 
after I got up from my nap, I feel like a new person. I feel great. I have energy. I went out running around with my sister yesterday. We filmed a video last night. I didn't go and go and go and I feel such a sense of relief of being finished with a vaccine. I've had both doses from Moderna. So I feel I feel happy about that. Um, I'm putting a little bit of that dark color underneath my eyes here. Get a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of depth. Okay, that's good to go. I'm not putting a whole lot on. I have a lot to do today. And this is taking me some time and I want to get some projects done around the house. So we got to hop to it, Janice. I am trying to organize my whole entire house. This house is not small. So, boy, I'll start one room and then, okay, I'm bored of this room. Let's go to another room. So I got little mini projects all over the place. Yeah, it's my, my, my adult, that's my adult ADD. Yeah, I have that bad. Yeah, a little dyslexia in my adult ADD. Now, the fun part. I'm going to try that trio comb. I believe it's a trio comb. It has three different colors. Trio comb. I just say trio comb because it's easier for me to pronounce. So. And this is with Davina. I'm going to use the green one here. I showed you that earlier. And let me use my Too Faced glitter glue. That's a good idea, Janice. Why didn't I think of that sooner? I bought this a while back and I rarely use it. I forget. And that we'll find out, right? Just make up. I mess it up. It's not a big deal. Go back to my brush here. Put a little bit on my brush and see what happens. Hopefully it'll be beautiful. Ooh. Yeah. That is beautiful. Just gonna kind of dab in the middle. This is pretty. I don't know if you can see the change of colors on camera. I'm trying to see if I see it. I do want to really turn my head. I'm going to grab a little more lighter color and put it in my inner corner. But for a little bit of highlighting, I'm just gonna use the it's like a greeny silvery color here on that elf palette. And just to make your corners. I'm gonna grab from my just my look color pop and find a color I want in there. Let's do this color. I'm, I don't have my glasses on, but just right this here. Here. It's kind of a medium green. And just do it under here. See, there's some similar colors in this. So, that's why I didn't buy both. Because they had two of these. One was a little darker variation. Let's just do this. This looks more of a, I don't know what you call the color, brownish green. Soften that edge. This is 
is the Natasha Denona face palette. This is the highlighters and blush, cream products here. Down here, I got it upside down. Um, not that I really care what you see in my background. You know, it's a it's a beauty room slash studio, so you might see my equipment. That's okay. See the creams up here, and then the powders. And I've been using this nonstop since I got it. I love this, and I was so happy to see it when I got it. I didn't expect it to be this large. It didn't have to be this large, but I was very thrilled that I bought it. Wow, how good! How nice. I feel like you really got your money's worth when you get a lot. Not that I probably never ever use it all, but eh, makes you feel good. Yeah. Here, to me. And the reason why I keep saying to me because cataracts give me a little bit of a haze. Sometimes colors are off a little bit. So, but uh, it's still pretty. Don't need much, that's for sure. I'm just gonna put it on my cheek. Yeah. I put it a little higher, so it brings my face up a little bit. Because I'm finding now that I'm older, my face is falling. So my neck is really falling. I need a neck tuck. is the blush and while I'm at it I'm gonna have to do the highlighter they got a real pink one and a champagne one I'm gonna use the pinky one I'm gonna use my Yenza cream bronzer I got from Ipsy a while back Since I've been using this, because I had it for a while and finally started using it, I'm really liking this. I like cream products for my aging skin. They work really well. And I have dry skin. My skin gets a little oilier in the summer, like the T-zones, because of the humidity here in Michigan. But for the most part, I'm a dry as a girl. But sometimes my skin's like a plum in the summer. It's just perfect. Okay, now we're going to do some powder here. I think I'm going to grab a little bit of that powder from my blush just to kind of set it. And you, now this is more of a pinky color but it's still got the coral in it. And I'm just going to lightly put it on. I go light blush. I love blush. I'm learning to use use it better. I'm use powder highlighter just to kind of set that and also bring it up a little more. And I go the opposite spectrum here and go over here and use that one. They're both beautiful. This whole palette, I mean, I just love it. I'm gonna grab some mascara. And I'm trying to use all the things I like, really been liking in this video. So I can continue to do. I have a lot of mascara that I'm loving. And I'm gonna go, I've talked about this, I, I have a video about this. I compared it with um, Wet n Wild. It was just something I wanted to do. But this is the Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Now I've seen some different videos about this. And some people like it, some people don't, but I like it. I like that it's a rubbery, flexible brush. It's not too wet. It's not clumpy. It does give you sky high lashes and it does add volume. I think it's a cleaner look than some mascaras. And it depends what you're going for. I'm going for just a simple look today, so I'm going to use this. I use this one more than the other ones since I've bought it. So it's become a very favorite of mine. Yeah. Especially for just everyday wear. And this 
really makes them pretty. And I also like that I can get my bottoms pretty easily with this. I like the fine tip. This really helps me. I received this through one of my subscription boxes. It's by Hazley and it's the About Face Matte Lipstick. I use this every day. I really, really love this color. It is gorgeous. I love the packaging and I love the color. I'm going to use it. And it matches that lip liner perfect. Kind of a mauve pink. Oh, my dogs are going crazy. I just put them outside to go potty. I knew better than that. Yeah. Sometimes what I do, I could do it with the liquid lip, but sometimes what I do is I grab my pencil again and I just go the edges a little bit. Now my final thoughts of all this. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, would love for you to subscribe. Also like this video if you find value in this and are enjoying the video also comment have you tried any of these products i've talked about today and also are you guys are you going to get that vaccine yeah mama bear here asking you nicely to help with the herd immunity and help with the reopening of our world. It's, it's a help. Obviously, if you have medical reasons and in-person reasons, I don't mean to offend. I really don't. Okay, now back to it. Oh, yes. Also, share this video. I would love for you to share it. It helps me grow. Helps you. Helps me for you to like it, comment, subscribe. All the above helps me to grow. And I want to grow because I'm trying to get this channel off its feet and sore so I make a little bit of revenue to help me afford the products I want to review. Um, just help me in general. I'm not monetized if you noticed. And I have no affiliate codes yet. But that hopefully will soon some but soon that will change someday where I have a little bit of that just to help me out financially. We all need that help. And I enjoy doing this. I never really considered it to be my job. It was just a hobby, but now it's hobby slash job. <laughs> but I still don't think of it as a job. Maybe that's my problem. I should, but I don't. I really enjoy doing this. Well, good enough for the hairdo here, Janice. It's, uh, I curled it for a change, so, you know, it does what it wants. Final thoughts. These products I use today are the ones I'm enjoying right now. Enjoying that. Davina. Triacone. Eyeshadow. And, oh yes, I did want to mention this. The mint, elf mint, little mini palette here. It's nice. They, from reviews I've listened to, it's not as nice as the other ones for some reason, but I haven't used the other ones, so I can't compare. But I like it. It's doing the job, and I'm thinking I'm not a real fussy person. Oh, I'm really enjoying the Stuck On You eyeshadow primer. The Yenza bronzer. Really enjoying that. What else? That's oh, and the brighter and the sky high mascara. 
I don't think I have, I put a thing in this video that I didn't like. I do have, I, I do have products I've used lately that I don't like at all. That will be another video. My favorites and fail. I'll probably do a spring favorites and fail. There's one more thing I'm really enjoying since I've received them. Is my new glasses. I love them. They're nice and big. Kind of the 80 style that's coming back. Have you noticed the big pair of glasses are now coming back in? And I'm liking it. They're they're wire, so they're nice lightweight. I didn't get the transitions this time. I just didn't care for that feature in my other glasses. These are just the clear lens. And I ordered the magnetic pop-on sunglasses and I like about it. it's got little magnets right here the gold and then this one here has magnets also on the inside and then the outside has the pink rhinestones and then the lens itself is a variegated violet and all you do is just pop them on and they're very light they're not the heavy ones very light I love these So what do you think? Yeah, I think they're cute. They're fun. Oh, hey everyone. I wanted just to remind you again to please like this video. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment. You, uh, what is your favorites you're enjoying right now? I'd love to know. And is there anything you want me to talk about? I am wanting to do a little more reviews and probably more in the drugstore price range because that's what I can right now afford. However, there is an occasional luxury brand. I don't know if I'll purchase them. Might be something I get in one of my subscription boxes or get it on sale, but you never know. All right, I think that's gonna be all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you in my next video. Bye.